Hannah. I'm gonna get highlights done inside of my hair. When I was on swim team, I would always get in the sun a lot and it'd make my hair this golden stuff and it looked really good. I'm kind of afraid because I don't know if it's gonna be super dramatic or what it's gonna look like. Mm -hmm. but that's so nice. <sighs> um, I think we're just gonna wing it. I have short hair and I've had short hair my entire freaking life. <laughs> Years old to now, I have been wanting long hair. So we're going to get hair extensions because, like Me. I said, okay, I am going to get hair extensions. I totally want to look like a mermaid too, a merman. You could be like tapping your weave, girl. No, it's not like that though. It's a different kind of hair extension. Next, I'm gonna get Botox and get a boob job, and then I'm gonna get fake nails and fake eyelashes so I can do the whole LA effect. This is so LA. Before. This is the before. Are you I, scared? You yeah, should be scared. I, I am. I am kind of scared to see what this you is gonna be look frightened. like because. Lately I've been feeling lower than a limbo stick and go, stressing out all about the things I know I can't control. Everything is going, but not the way the handbook said. Instead of living, I'm just drilling further into my own head. But I'm kind of scared, but no at the same way. time, but I'm excited. I'm That's scared. Yeah, Not to be scared of? No, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. I, I don't know what it's gonna look like. This is. This is... You think I'm gonna be really surprised whenever I finally see it? I think it's gonna be amazing. I look Ta different. <laughs> Ta da! This is my brand new. Hair, kind of the same as it's always been, except it has a little bit of highlights. As soon as Taylor moved here, it was time for me to start acting a little bit more like, like an adult. Up? In my life, I've never actually been in a non long distance relationship. Caleb lives the life of a bachelor. But with Taylor now living so close to me, it's kind of time for me to break out of my bachelorish ways and change stopped eating tuna helper every day yeah started drinking water that wasn't from the sink yeah taylor even convinced me to go get my first manicure so we are currently putting the man in manicure you think you're so funny yeah. for saying that it's the funniest thing ever Wait, do i have to pick out a color no I don't know. yes so much solid black tips. I don't know what that means. Like snow. Like is snow. Is that what that is? That's French, yes. Why did the French do that? What are you doing? I can't hear you. And meanwhile, I had my big book release of my new book, Harkin, on January 13th. And it went amazingly, except for the fact that I was so sick that we didn't actually film any of it. And a lot of the reason why I was sick has to do with and her crazy way of making karma work for her. And you had it coming. You <laughs> made fun of me so bad. I'm sick. Shut up. <laughs> I'm just quoting the movie. Every time I cough, <laughs> I couldn't help. I was like struggling not to cough so that he would not make fun of me for two seconds. I can't not make fun of Taylor for two seconds. So many people were talking about Harkin on the night of the release that Harkin was a trending topic on Twitter for hours and thousands and thousands of people hit the website all at the same time and just crashed it. Hey guys, I'm Brian Corsetti, hanging out here with Caleb Nation. So I just left an interview at What's Trending with Shira Lazar. Got to talk about Harkin and Twilight and all sorts of other really cool stuff, reptilians and the, the backstory behind writing Harkin. And uh, it was really awesome. And uh, we have more that are coming up throughout the week. I'm not sick anymore, luckily. Although I am still kind of coughing and my voice sounds like Bleh. I'm also in the process of starting my own business. Caleb has a new business called Caleb Media. Yeah. And it's very exciting to own your own business at such a young age, but Caleb doesn't know how to take breaks. One of the good things that I've learned so far having Taylor here is that I can't do everything on my own. Four YouTube channels, four websites, and graphic design consulting and all this other stuff. And that doesn't leave me enough time for the most important thing in my life. My chinchilla. I mean Taylor. Who else could help fill in and keep some shows going on the 60SR? And the first guy that came to my mind was 
Joe. Uh, so I'm hanging out with this guy here, hey. Joe's Daily. Hello. What are you looking forward to most about you know hosting 60SR and kind of taking over the show? Honestly, the the awesome audience you already have. I think that's one of the coolest things in the world okay. because it's always nice to be able to piggyback and and be introduced to new people. I want to make 60SR into something that isn't just 60SR entertainment, but we have all of these other different, like different 60 second long shows that like like lifestyle shows and 60SR, the entertainment show is kind of just the beginning. Joe is literally, literally the first person in on this big, huge, what do you, like a big multimedia I, empire exactly. that I've always dreamed of building. I do my own stuff, I have my own brand, I have my own blog, all that good stuff, but I've always wanted to help other people out, and I think it's great to be a part of something that's growing, yeah. and I think that's the best thing is because, you know, getting to, getting another person's input and stuff like that. And this wait. is the beginning, I can't wait. So you'll be seeing a lot more of Joe around. Megan and Liz, they're performing at the Roxy Theater. I was actually in a Megan and Liz music video. <laughs> It was last year, and one of my friends, he's a director of music videos. One of our friends was a director of music videos. What are you coughing about? There's what? actually something in my throat. Oh, and uh, he just randomly called me up and he said, oh, we're shooting this music video. And uh, so I said, sure, I'll, I'll show up. I'll be an extra in the music video. And then I show up, and it turns out he doesn't want me to be an extra in the music video. I'm playing, like, the like the major love interest in the story. Like, I was the clumsy it's love interest the love that interest. got... <laughs> Having Taylor nearby actually has made my life better. So many I, life improvements. I get out a lot more and go see concerts and do stuff in be LA. Be social. And be social instead of sitting at home and working 24-7. We're more than plaid, finally. No. No. You wear this shirt like every day since you bought it. We'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rachel. I've realized that it's pretty much impossible for me to manage everything that I'm doing by myself. And so that's why I now have the Rachel. This is where Rachel works. We're kind of like a startup company over here right now. The red light is on. Well, Bite me. I obviously don't know how to film correctly because I shouldn't have to be walking backwards. You should be in front of me. I have heels on and I will trip and drop your very expensive camera. People about you're nuts. 